नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू सोलफुल रागा अ वेब सीरीज बाय आर चैनल हिंदुस्तानी रागा टू सपोर्ट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक एंड स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस अबाउट हिंदुस्तानी शास्त्रीय संगीत अमंग कॉमन पीपल एंड म्यूजिक लवर्स टुडे वी विल लर्न राग बागेश्वरी इट्स स्ट्रक्चर टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन प्रैक्टिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन and one melodious composition in this raga Rag Bageshri is a very soulful raga of Hindustani shastriya sangeet We use five notes in its aro and all seven notes in its avro We don't use rishab or re and pancham or pa notes in its aro and we use gandhar and nishad notes in their komal form in this raga this raga is used to sing chhota khyal or medium or fast paced compositions vilambit khyal or slow paced compositions dhrupad and tarana rag bageshri is a member raga of kafi thaat since five notes in its aro and all seven notes in its avro are used in this raga its jati is aro sampurna the most important note of this raga is ma or madhyam so ma is the vadi swara of this raga sa or sharaj is the second most important note in this raga so sa is the samvadi note in rag bageshri the best time to sing this raga is between 9 pm and midnight the other similar raga which is very similar to rag bageshri is rag bhim palasi rag bageshri should be sung in all three octaves there are some main notes in every raga in rag bageshri sa ma and dha are the main notes we generally stay on these notes while singing rag bageshri and frequently use sa ma dha ma and dha ga combinations while singing rag bageshri like this dha ni sa ma sa ma ga re sa sa ga ma dha ma ma pa dha ga ma ga re sa पंचम और प नोट शुडन बी यूज इन दी आर ओ ऑफ राग बागेश्वरी बट इन अवरो पंचम शुड बी यूज इन वक्र लाइक दिस मेट इज लर्न हाउ वी शुड यूज म्यूजिकल नोट्स इन राग बागेश्वरी इन शॉर्ट लेट्स लर्न द चलन ऑफ राग बागेश्वरी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू how to sing rag bageshri in lower octave sa sa ni धन स 
So this is how we should use notes in lower octave while singing Rag Bhageshri. Now I will tell you how we should sing Rag Bhageshri in medium and higher octaves. Sa
this was the chalan of rag bageshri now let's learn its aro avro and paka or set of notes which are the indicational set of notes of a particular raga so first of all rag bageshri's aro sa ni sa So this is the aro of rag bageshri now it's avro sa ni dha ma ma pa dha ga ma ga re pakar dhani sa ma ga re ma ga re sa ni sa da ni sa ga ma da ma ma pa da ga Today we will learn one chhota khyal or a medium based composition in rag bageshri This composition is made in teen tal which has 16 beats The bowl of teen tal are like dha dhin dhin dha dha dhin dhin dha dha tin tin ta ta dhin dhin dha This composition in rag bageshri starts from the ninth beat. So let's learn its sthai or the first part of this composition but before that let us know its lyrics. The lyrics are like kon karat tori binati piyarwa mano na mano hamari baat. So now I will start singing this composition and uh, i will count beats from 1 to 8 and then i will start singing the style of this composition from the ninth beat onwards so let's count the beat first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 hamari baat this part in this thai is a little complex so i will sing this line again with the help of swaras 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
this com composition now i will sing its antara and its antara again starts from the ninth beat the bowl of antara are like jab se gaye muri sudh hun leene chahe sautan ke ghar jaat so now i will count beats from 1 to 8 and then i will start singing from the ninth beat onwards so let's start it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. जब से गए मुरे सुधा होनली जब से गए मुरे सुधा होनली चाहे सोतन के घर जाए composition or chota khyal in rag baaki shri now i will sing this entire composition in one go so do listen to it very carefully <coughs> i will count beats from 1 to 8 and then i will start singing its composition this composition from the ninth beat onwards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 So this was the chota khyal in rag baaki shri while singing rag baaki shri do remember that your bass notes should be sa and ma and not sa and pa that you generally use while singing other ragas for baaki shri since pancham is varjit so your bass notes should be sa and ma so whenever you sing or practice this raga uh, your bass notes should be sa and ma which means you should uh, press sa and ma while singing or practicing on harmonium and when you practice with the help of tanpura your first wire this one this should be matched with the madhyam note so this was rag bageshri i hope this video will help you to understand rag bageshri much easily and deeply 
do practice this raga and if you really like this video and if you feel that this video will help you to understand rag bhageshri then do circulate this video and subscribe to our channel so that more and more people should get benefit out of this channel so that's it for now uh, we will bring you another soulful raga very soon for you namaskar